How do you do, YouTube? This is Jordanary World, and I. Oh, God. Uh, anyways, today's fragrance review is Playboy Make the Cover for Him. You may know Playboy for their intellectual and thought provoking articles, but it seems they want to spread their talents into the fragrance space. Definitely an interesting bottle. On top is this plastic sleeve which slides off to reveal the full bottle. As the color of the bottle reflects, this is indeed a blue fragrance. Let's give it a first impression. Immediately, this has a very shower gel character. Tangy citrus and musky ambroxan. Here's the note breakdown. There is a bit of variation depending on which website you're looking at, but these are the fragrance notes according to base notes. You get the bright tanginess from the green apple and bergamot on top, with a slight spiciness from the cardamom. Then the fresh shower jelly essence from lavender and violet. And it's rounded out with some creaminess from tonka and amber. Now I actually have been sitting on this fragrance to review for a little while now and yesterday I decided to just go ahead and, and wear it to try it out and I think make the cover shines when you smell it in the air however on the skin it can come across extremely synthetic it's very reminiscent of something like an axe body spray I don't necessarily think that's bad however when you buy a fragrance you expect it to smell a little bit better than a seven dollar can of deodorant it is very fresh, and the fragrance itself is pleasant. However, that synthetic nature can be slightly off-putting. Even though it has the Playboy name, this isn't really a fragrance for adults. I feel like this fragrance is made for a generally younger audience, like a teenager in middle school or high school. This 50 ml size bottle was $15 at Ross, and this is definitely a situation where you feel as if you got what you paid for. Save your money on this one, and leave Playboy Make the Cover on red. I'm gonna give this a 6 out of 10. Hit that subscribe for more fragrance reviews and leave a comment down below if there's anything you've seen in the rack store that you'd like me to try next. Later.